1 Samuel chapter 1 is probably one of the most well-known passages of the Old Testament. It's a simple, easy to understand passage, but is at the same time extremely profound. Hannah has no children. She goes to worship the Lord and ask for a child. In exchange, Hannah promises to give that child to the Lord if indeed he gives her one. That's the simple part. However, it gets exponentially profound after that. How many of you have made promises to the Lord? How many of you have made vows to the Lord that if he did something for you, you would do something back in return? Hey, give me this relationship, Lord. Let me win this $1.9 billion Powerball lottery, Lord. Free me from this addiction, Lord. And then, and then I'll give you my life. I will serve you all the days of my life, you might say. And we can promise the Lord and make oaths all day long. But do we really intend to keep them? Will we make good what we promised once the Lord blesses us with the answers of our prayer? Well, the Lord heard Hannah's cry for the child, and Hannah remembered her vow to the Lord. Little Samuel was born to Hannah, and once the child was weaned, around two or three in that culture, she took him to Shiloh, where the tabernacle was, and gave him to Eli the priest to serve the Lord all the rest of his days. Some translations unfortunately say in verse 28 that Hannah lent little Sammy to the Lord, but, but they should read gave. She gave him to the Lord. When you think about it, everything we have has been given to us. It is the Lord who lends to us and we who receive and steward that which he gives. Our talents, our abilities, possessions, even our children. And can you imagine how hard it was for Hannah to finally receive what was for years her heart's desire and then literally give it back to the Lord once she received it. But Samuel was in the right place and in the right hands. As you'll see, the Lord will use him in powerful ways and little Sammy, well, he'll influence powerful people as the prophet of the Lord. And oh yeah, the Lord will give Hannah five more kiddos in the years to come. May we each realize what the Lord has given us. May we each dedicate what we have to the Lord's service, knowing that everything we have is on loan from God anyways. And finally, may we know that when we place that which we have into the Lord's hands, they are in good hands, and He will always greatly multiply them for the kingdom profit and kingdom gain. You are greatly loved, so go and greatly love.